Yeah, yeah I got another one. So honestly, though, snakes when they're still is the scariest time. So if I'm going into a tail yeah, and the snake's still, I'm yeah. not going to tail it. I'm going to wait till it starts moving. Yeah. Down on the ground. Some more if you need to. Yep. This is the Queensland mulga, right? So the Queensland individual, not all over Queensland. Like we, once you get out, these guys are found pretty close to where those collets are as well. Like you can find these out around Winton, Quilpy, but more in the rocky substrate before you get to the black soil. And in those areas, they're more yellow. But um, this individual would be from the area like St. George, right? Everyone knows where St. George is and um, even like Charleville and out past Roma. Um, they look like this, right? So the maroon individuals. Um, but mulgas go all the way to the coast of WA, right? So they're really widespread. They're not found here, not found in southeast Queensland. You have to go further west. Um, once you go about six hours west, you'll start finding them. And then again, they run all the way to the WA coast, um, but they change colours throughout that range depending on where they are. Some of the Kimberley individuals, like that you get into in the, um, in the gorge country, can be black. Um, the ones in Alice Springs are got the yellow spots all over them. Uh, yeah, some of the desert animals are just more uh, solid yellow, more cream. Yeah, so pretty variable snakes and get different sizes and different ranges. They don't get massively big in Queensland, um, or at least where this population is. The biggest one I've seen is just under six feet. Um, but when you get to the top end, they can get very, very, very large. We caught one on a tour a couple of weeks ago that was about eight feet long.